Well, good morning. I don't know how much is in this CD. <coughs> this will be enough to sort of bugger me up as I'm going along. But this is this is a painting of the uh, Pevensey in a Tuga in Victoria, Melbourne, now Australia. Ah, uh, it's uh, the pedal boat that was in all the rivers run. It's not, you know, someone might have seen it, but it's, um, but, you know, it's a bloody beautiful looking um, pedal boat, and uh, I thought I'd put this one on too. I must get some pictures. I keep saying it, but I must get some pictures of the Adelaide, uh, the uh, Emmy Lou too. I'm still working on the Emmy Lou. I haven't touched it since I showed you on uh, uh, YouTube last time, so I'm waiting for the paint to dry a little bit. This one was done before the Emmy Lou. Um, you know, so it's bone dry, this one. Um, the Emmy Lou's, yeah, nice pedal boat. I've done, what have I done? I've done a couple of hours on that Emmy Lou. But this one I didn't do anything. I lost the... The thing wasn't going, the camera wasn't going. Anyway, we're going to start playing around with a bit of it. I've got a bit of used paint here, so... I don't uh, worry too much about... Yeah, I'll put a bit of fresh paint out as well, but... I use, uh, use a muted type colours too that I've been using in the paintings. Like, this is pretty familiar. Um, you know, it's just dark. It's just trying to get a bit of darkness over in the... Um, you know, maybe a bit of... Uh, crimson red or something. And a um, little bit of sap green in there. Let's see, that might find that dark area. It might just give us a little bit in that dark area. It might be, I don't know, but it, it takes it a bit. It's a bit blue up. That might be all right. I'll leave it at that. I don't want to, you know, look, we're going to go over it and over it for a little while yet. So it's not too bad. I'd like to make a bit of darker in there because there's going to be a bit of foliage on the tree up there. It'll be the same over here, but... We won't get too carried away, I'm sure of that. Uh, uh, we'll just put that in there. And then I'll put that in there. And, uh, right. All right. Right. I'm going to throw, no, I'm going to come through with a little bit of bank colour, a bit of magenta, because it's a bit, it's a bit, bit violet -ly, isn't it? Ultraviolet. A little bit ultraviolet, but I don't want it to be uh, too violet either. Oh, uh, no. Put a bit of orange or raw sienna with that to drop it down a cold. Uh, mm -hmm. And we'll put that in there. I don't know whether that should be blue or not, but we'll play around it. Because what we'll do is we'll see how the painting, see how the colour reads. You know? I'm just trying to show you that nothing, like I'm going to keep saying all the time because I found it very hard myself uh, when I was learning to think of the, the whole picture that it's, we're just working on a thing, working on a process. So, until we get wherever we think it's right and that could be anywhere, so. I'll put a little bit of orange in that soil. Um, just, just a little bit down the front here. I don't know. That might, might make it look a little bit more lively. And then I'll get a brush out in it, I think. But yeah, we don't. We're going to do that. <laughs> Hmm, getting bogged down in here. Doing my thing, just 
soft the edges sometimes, you know, so it's not so harsh over there, not stop pushing itself out at you. Uh, mm. I think that soil colour under that light sits pretty good there. Put a little bit of that in there, eh? Because it's looking a bit sick there. Uh-huh. Okay. And uh, put a little bit of light in there, but not too much. Hey. Eh? Oh. And then we'll mould a, we'll mould a bit of tree colour around in there. So when we're looking at green, what do we do? We just look at green and yellow. Doesn't matter what sort of green, but use a bit of yellow because that'll, you know, that'll mute it down a little bit. Then give you some sort of colour. Uh, that you might need for the... I mean that's sitting in there good. You know, oh don't do that. Now see, that? see how you can get hungry with it? And when you get really hungry with it then you're going to play a little bit. Um, yeah, you don't want to get hungry with it. You know, we're, at, we're not painting another thing I'd like to keep in my head. We are not painting a Rembrandt we are painting a painting and I'm sure Rembrandt painted many of paintings that weren't really up to his standard but maybe not maybe he was a maybe he wanted to get the best out of what he was doing who knows doesn't matter in here I'm not gonna Push anyone now to, I'm not going to say anything about anyone's work. People can enjoy their, their qualities of work and the way they do their things. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying here this morning because it's five o'clock. It's just after five o'clock in the morning. No, oh, hang on. It's bloody six o'clock now. Six o'clock. And, uh, and it's still not daylight here. It's just starting to get a bit of sun going up and uh, if I was going to go and get a misty morning this would be the time that I'd be going out to do my um, thing what we're going to do is put a few um, branches just to start moulding in that other side well, put some trees in there <coughs> And I don't know what colour we're going to use for that. So what I'll do is I'll mix a colour. Just because I don't know what a colour is. I mean, you know, you're going to say the trees have got dark greys. They've got greys in them. Um, you know, so, you know, a bit of ultramarine blue. Uh, that's sort of a good colour if you don't want to just tell her here. If you don't want to stand things out too much, you know. When you start getting too, see when you get too busy with that, get too busy with the uh, stuff, not good. Now, just put a little bit of that stuff in there. Just, no, no, no. Look, and while I'm doing this, and uh, this is how I do my painting, by the way. It's just how I do my stuff. Um, and even the teachers and the ones that have been painting longer than me and I'll tell you what, there's probably not too many uh, will be saying, oh that's all orthodox, she's doing the wrong thing So, but I'm not worried about that I'm, I'm just here as a, as a friend just trying to get you motivated and not to give yourself a hard time when you're painting, you know and just remember that you can always put that painting down and go into something else. The learnings in painting is, is actually practicing the painting. So when you uh, when you get on a couple of boards and you're doing one or two or three paintings at a time, you're actually training yourself. Yeah. In fact, when I'm showing you on YouTube, 
I'm actually training myself to uh, to paint. Um, so um, yeah, it's all pretty interesting, you know. See how powerful that one was. And uh, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get bogged down in that either. I'm just gonna hang on. What do we got here? I'll put some. Yeah, I think if I put some uh, if I put some ultramarine in there with a bit of that other stuff, it might show some of the trees that are in the background. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah. Because a lot of the trees here, I mean there's still some big trees, uh, and I'm still using them in paintings. I mean, like we say, we're, we're using our imagination to pull a painting together here. Um, you know, who wants to go and stand out in the freezing cold today? I mean, I don't. I mean, I know painters that did, and I know my mate Bill Delica did. Uh, but I'm, I'm not overly wrapped in doing that. I, uh, I'm just quite happy um, doing my bit in nice warm, oh, nice warm place. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should put that in there. Maybe we should just have a light one in there anyhow, eh? Hey? Just to break that balance, keep the eye rolling around the painting. Uh. Yeah, so, yeah. <clears throat> and even these trees, these trees are not finished. Okay, these, these trees are not finished by any means. I just put a little bit of feel around the place. Now what I might do is I might just put a little bit of that uh, foliage for the wattle. I'll keep it toned down a little bit. But you know that one there, see what that one worked out like. That worked out alright. Can you see that coming through? I don't know whether you can, but I'm going to just... <coughs> oh, no, nah, see how powerful it is, though. I don't want it that powerful. Uh, yeah, some of, those, some of those things should be... You know, very powerful. Yep. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mute that out a bit because I don't like that colour. Oh, Jesus, I just don't like that colour. Sometimes you get a whole pile of wobble on the other side there, you know, so we're just slowly trying to build up the pattern. Um, I don't know what's going on here. See how we've lost this? I need to go into that and get out, find a little bit more movement. Oh, no. we'll put a little bit of dark green in there. We'll do a bit of raw colour. If I use a bit of raw, raw colour, it'll probably take me back to that where it is. Maybe, there we go. Here we are as we're going along. 
that might be a, a different bit of a coloured bottle. Who knows? I mean, because um, some of these wattle trees are fairly big too, you know. Okay. Okay. All right, now, not sure, right, because that's just pushing that back a bit, because otherwise, I'm, when I put the foliage on the tree over here, it won't be right. Now, I'm going to uh, do a bit of water. I better check this time to see if the camera's going. Uh, yeah, it's been going for 15 minutes, I think. Um, right, yeah, we're going to... We're going to get some water rolling here. Now I can put some of that, uh, what do you call it? Uh, should have saved some of that, but it doesn't matter. Put a bit of that in there. No, nope. got to put a little bit of green in there. Just got to have a green, man. I'm gonna drop it down a cob. I want to get some green in there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> now I don't think that's right at this stage. But anyhow, let's see how quick we can stuff a painting up though. <coughs> I don't think so. I think we just play it play along with the paint, with the colour. Just play along with it. It's a bit grubby. That colour's a bit grubby in the water, you see that? And um, It's a bit grubby. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get a bit of violet. Still purple, isn't it? If that's how we want that bit in here, we'll do it. We'll take that through. And then... Oh man, you know, what am I doing? Have fun. because you can read it too. You can probably read it better on that uh, thing that I can. So I'm just gonna uh, probably put the green water in there too and that might bring it down a bit. We'll work this, we'll get this going. Like a challenge. Uh -huh. nah. You see what we can do is we can pull little bits and pieces of of that 
where the light bits are in the river. See that? And use that. Oh no, you don't, don't go silly, boy. Don't go silly, boy. Now I'm just working into this, and it's, uh, it's given me a negative bit of a process, but there's nothing that can't be worked over, and it's good exercise to to get in and have a go. Otherwise, you never learn. You know what I mean, my friends? Now we're going to try and get this. Uh, what do you call it? Muddy, green. Um, but what do we got? No. What's it going to be like? Well, uh, mm. No, 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 no muddy waters. I don't like going too far with my paintings. With those colours, anyhow, this, this colour's going to be alright at this stage, because like I said, nothing's finishing, it's not... Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, and then we'll put a little bit in front there. Ah. Ah. That's sort of pulling it together a bit, isn't it? So, uh, nah. nah, I'll get it a bit lighter though. I just like it being a bit lighter. This water. Got to be a little bit lighter than that. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and that's that's a bit better. Now we can pull some of that water back. There. Okay, we can put a little bit of that in there, and that'll break away that horrible dirty colour there. And it still hasn't. Mm -hmm. Roar. Now what we can do uh, is what we're going to do here more. I'm going to play around, we're not going to do any more to that. Well, if I want to make it into a half hour segment, I've got to pull it up at that, otherwise it take, I think the tapes are too long to look at. They probably don't get looked at in here. So. Yeah. I'll have fun in here. I'll just show you, I'll show you so you know. You know. When you got your lights and darks in here. Here we go again, right? See that? It's like you're lifting up the paint, right? So wipe your brush and go back through it again. And you can uh, look. You could use you just use straight oil if you want.
Mm. Mm. Even here with a nice, real sharp, this one's not sharp anymore, but it's still all right. I can still bring this water, pull this up in there. See that? And if I wanted to, I could bring it in like that, you know, wave it around like that and bloody give it a nice, a nice te, a te oh, whatever I call it. I'm half asleep, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. I reckon that'll sparkle. See when I get in there I can rest the brush on the on the frame. So I get a nice look at that. Magic in there. It's just me and them bring it up them undertones. See? And uh, it's like anything though, isn't it too? You don't want to get too bogged down in too much. That's fine. And what I could do is probably lift a bit here too. And that'll break up that dirty colour. And uh, yeah, it's powerful, isn't it? I hope you can see that because it lifts up. Um, it just gives the eyes something to look at. You know, the water's reasonably not real rough. And I can still go through there and put in more lights in here, you know, along the river here. Uh, but I'll wait until that dries now so that I can go through and do that and then smudge that in. And then I can come back with the oil again and cut that out so that I can bring that, uh, you know, give it that really good look. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so wherever we're going now, I don't know, but um, let's go and have a go. Let's go and seek it out and uh, see where we can go with this. Hey, I don't know. Let's just see what we can do. Hey, man. Let's go and see what we can do. You'll find it, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm a bit loose, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just happy doing this if, I, if someone, if I make, uh, give someone some ideas.